Hello friends! At this point, we will make a 4-channel Bluetooth switch using some Arduino board and Mojo. And we can control it by using the application on our mobile phone. Let's get started! First of all, this is HC05 and you can also use HC06. This module is designed for serial communication. Once it is paired to the master Bluetooth device such as PC, smartphone, and tablet, you can make a command you want as long as it is encoded or programmed into the Arduino. After it is connected to the master Bluetooth, the HC05 will send the command or data to the Arduino Uno. And for Arduino to know what to do, the RXD of Bluetooth module is connected to pin 3 and the TXD is connected to pin 2 of Arduino. Moreover, the HC05 module is powered by DC voltage. It needs 3.3 volts to 5 volts for it to operate. And at this point, we can use 3.3 volts. Then, after the data has transferred to Arduino Uno, we will need to use 4-channel relay module. This 4-channel relay module is operated by 5 volts DC. It has 4 5 volts DC relay. The command coming from the Arduino Uno will go here. Its job is to turn off or turn on the electric conductors. By the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe now to Russell Electronics to keep you updated in our newly uploaded videos. The next is the installation of loads and supplies. This is the diagram. And after we connect all the components together, this is time for programming the Arduino. And now we will open the software. I am using Arduino IDE 2.0 but if you haven't liked this version, it's okay to use version 1.8. Go to tools and board, then find the Arduino Uno and select it. After that, it is not yet connected, go to tools again and go to port. Find the port that you connected the Arduino Uno. Then delete this previous code. After that, it is already connected. Then go to browser and search for remotec.com. Here we can make a application or commands in our application. For the configuration, Select Bluetooth, Arduino Uno, HC05, and Arduino IDE, the software that we use in uploading a code. Then go to controls and select for switches. After that, scroll down and type the password that you want. This password is the password that you type if you want to connect to the Bluetooth. And each of these switches has a corresponding pins that will work. Select the switch 1 and it is corresponded to pin 12. Click the switch 2 and it is corresponded to pin 11. Switch 3 is corresponded to pin 10. 
and the switch 4 is corresponded to pin 9. After that, get the source code. Then copy this code. But before we copy this code, we need to download a zip file. This is the latest version and you can download it but we can use a another way this another way is by copying this link the library github then copy it then go to software arduino ide and go to file go to preferences and paste it to additional board manager urls after you paste it click ok then ok then go to sketch and include library and manage libraries search remote c this is the file that we need to install and it is done installing now it is time to copy the code let's copy the code then paste it but before we upload this code to our arduino uno we need to change some codes like this change the low to high and change the high to low and same to others After we change some codes, let's check if it is complete. Then verify. After it is verified or done compiling, let's upload it. It is done uploading. While I'm placing the bulbs, take a look at the USB cord. It is directly connected to 5V supply to enable the Arduino and the modules to work. Its required input is 1.2 to 2 amperes. If you use 500 milliampere, you may have this function of these components. And it will affect the performance of the Arduino or the relay. Then make sure the connection are connected correctly before you turn on the switch. After that, install a application Remote C from Play Store or Google Play then connect to the bluetooth type the password and done